Hi folks, I've got another box opening for you today of another Perfect Pets breathing cat. So previously I unboxed this tabby cat. I bought that one new. It came with this blue bed and a brush and a certificate of adoption and this rather nice uh, presentation sort of carry box and I also unboxed this black and white cat and I actually preferred this one because I didn't think that the tabby one looked as realistic so I got this black and white cat second hand it came with a green bed and this brush and the seller had the original decorative carry box and the cat that I've got to unbox today is the grey tabby so I'm going to get this unboxed and compare it with the other two this is actually the cheapest one that I've bought I found it on eBay for just £12.90 so I snapped it up so without further ado, let's get this cat unboxed. That's very nicely packed. Well, if all else is uh, as good with this cat, I'll have to leave Amanda positive feedback. So it comes with this brush that's just fallen out the box and there's our grey kitten that looks like it's in fantastic condition. So she's included the original battery but she's taken the battery out of the cat which is good because these can leak if you leave them in because as with all of these perfect pets there's no on off switch. So, like the ginger cat, this comes with a blue bed. Wow, she's even kept the certificate adoption in its plastic cover. No kidding folks, this is just like new. This is an amazing bargain I've got. I'm so pleased with it. Even the uh, decorative carry box is in perfect condition amazing and as we can see there's no corrosion in the battery box so I'll put the battery in the cat and we'll see what the breathing mechanism is like on this one Well, it's certainly working fine and it's quite noticeable these uh, breathing mechanisms vary quite a lot in how they sound and how they look that's a particularly noticeable one so with all of these I keep the battery door off so that I can just pop this out because it doesn't have an on off switch I did um, put an on off switch in a brown Labrador pup that I got when I say I put a switch in it was actually Paul who did it and we made a video about this so if you would like to see how Paul added an on and off switch to one of these breathing pets, I will put a link to the video in the description below. So I'll show you how the breathing mechanisms in the other two cats 
compare with this one. But first of all, I'll just compare what the cat looks like physically in comparison to the other two cats. So that's it next to the ginger cat. I say one of the main differences is they've put less white fur on the face of the grey cat, as you can see on the cheeks. And I actually think that's a mistake. I think it looks better with all the face in white. Though on the grey cat, they seem to, the black markings seem to be a little bit bigger. And I actually think that looks better slightly more realistic obviously still not realistic but I, I think it does look better yes I, I think that the black markings are better on the grey cat it's also got like bits like this which is like a, like a spot almost so yes I, I think it's an improvement I prefer that so better markings I would say and there's the tails the tails are poseable It comes with the same purple collar and now compared with the black and white cat I'd say the black and white cat's still my favourite I think the face looks better and though the markings on the grey cat are better than the orange one they're still not realistic it's still more realistic just to have nearly all black with bits of white this cat really needs cleaning. Um, I am going to clean it with isopropyl alcohol. I just haven't got around to it recently because currently I'm working on a cat project and that is taking up a lot of my time. So I'm recovering a Little Live Pets interactive animatronic robotic cat and I've been working on the head and it's going to look very very different when it's finished it's going to be like a full-size cat so if you would like to see how I'm doing that I will also put a link to that video in the description below so that was the breathing mechanism on the grey cat And this is the breathing mechanism on the ginger cat. And the breathing mechanism on the black and white cat is really, really quiet. But this is one downside to it not having any markings. You can't really see breathing mechanism working it's a lot more noticeable in the cats with the markings so as you can see with them all together there you can notice the ginger and the grey cat breathing but you can't really see the black and white cat breathing And the grey cat's got the noisiest mechanism. Unfortunately, it's pot luck whether you get a quiet breathing mechanism or a very mechanical breathing mechanism or even a breathing mechanism that can sound like a purr or a snore. It just seems to be natural variations in the mechanism. Interestingly, for some reason, the breathing mechanism on the grey cat seems to be slower and more realistic because of that than the breathing mechanism on the ginger cat. It seems to be too quick on the ginger cat. Is that just me or is it slower on the grey cat? I think visually the grey cat is the most effective in terms of being relaxing in seeing a breathing cat. 
So Paul, just uh, watching those three cats breathing there, mm -hmm. what do you think? Um, what do you mean, what do I think about the grey one? In comparison with the black and the ginger one. That's better than the, uh, the ginger one. Uh, but it's perhaps not as good as the black and white one, if I'm being realistic. What do you think of the breathing mechanism, how that um compares visually it's very similar to the ginger one isn't it it's uh quite noticeable yes that's what i thought uh i'm just showing paul lee's uh cats he doesn't know what i've been saying ab ab about them i wanted to to get an unbiased opinion i was saying that on the ginger cat and the gray cat you can notice them breathing but you can't see the black cat breathing and I think it's to do with the not being a pattern. On yeah, the... yeah, yeah. If I look carefully, I can see it on the black one, but you, you've got to look carefully for it. Mm. So you prefer the grey kit, the grey cats, fur to the the ginger cats. Yeah, it's it's colours are more realistic, I think. Yes, I like the colouring on it, mm. and also I was saying it's got um, thicker black stripes on it which i think make it look better as well thicker black stripes yeah the um orange stripes on the the ginger one are yeah. thinner than the black stripes oh, I see. Yeah. and yeah. i think that yeah. makes it look better mm. it's got more of a tabby look to it hasn't it rather yes. than the striped cat yes yeah. so whilst it's not realistic uh, i think you agree with me mm. don't you mm. that it's more realistic mm -hmm. than the uh ginger cat and it's got an advantage over the black and white one in that you can actually see it breathing. Yeah, it's certainly in lovely condition. And when you look at it from the front, mm -hmm. I thought the the uh, ginger cat looked better with more white on the face. But when you look at it from up above, it actually looks pretty good, those bits of grey on the cheeks on the uh, grey cat. Oh, yes, I see what you're saying, yeah. Mm. 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 It's a pity they made the three stripes on its head so thick and so straight. <laughs> that really spoils it. But other than that, um, it's uh, pretty nice. Yeah. And with the breathing as well, it really does give the impression of a cat curled up asleep. Mm. I actually find the grey one the most effective as, a, as seeing a cat curled up asleep breathing. Its tail's in a nice posture. Well, you can... You can um, move that, can you? Yes, yeah. the tail's opposable. So, folks, that concludes this unboxing of this grey tabby breathing cat by Perfect Pets. And a comparison between the grey tabby and the ginger tabby and the black and white cat. I will be back in the very near future doing... A video of my total kitten and cat collection because I've got quite a few now but that's it for this video folks hope you found that enjoyable and useful in some way thanks for watching as always and see you next time